Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Yep, you guessed it. I'm standing here in front of the pit boss, and that's what's going on today at the farm. I want to show you how I spatchcock a chicken and season it and smoke it today. So, hey, not a big deal. We're just going to spatchcock it. We're going to season it up, slap her on the smoker, let her sit there for about seven hours, and it's going to be good. Oh, by the way, pit boss not a sponsor oh and if you notice we've got on the ducks t-shirt this is a ducks t-shirt of the month a few months back not a sponsor but i really like it you get a good t-shirt once a month it's the cheapest t-shirt you're going to find shipped right to your door every month so uh i'll link ducks waterfowl down below to the t-shirts and you click on that link and uh, go support the guys back to the task at hand Papa, that's old Piper. Look at you. Look at you. I know. I know. Oh, poor baby. Piper hangs out with me everywhere we go. She is about nine years old, and she's just the best freaking bird dog you've ever seen. She's awesome. Anyway, we're going to check this thing out. Make sure we got some pellets. Oh, yeah. We got some pellets. Need to clean this puppy up a little bit. So let's, uh, Kick her up to smoke. We'll get this bad boy heated up. And we'll go get this chicken ready. Hi right, guys, we're back. And we've got all our ingredients here and our chicken. I'll let you see what we got. We've got our we've got our bird. This is a four pound, 15 ounce bird, right at five pounds. We've got us some him, him, Himalayan salt, I call it. Some Cavender's Greek seasoning. Garlic powder. Pepper. And the good old Weber kicking chicken. Weber's got some pretty good seasoning. And also got some butter. It's an organic butter. If you've never tried the organic butter, sweet cream, oh my goodness. You need to try it. it Butter just ain't butter anymore after you eat that right there. That is awesome. So, all right, I'm going to show you guys how I spatchcock a chicken. Spatchcock. Where did that word come from? Anyway, I'm going to set you guys down here and try to uh, let you see how I do this. Uh, if, if you don't uh, figure out how I'm doing it, uh, just YouTube it. Google it. You'll find it. Anyway, this is how I do it and how I prepare the chicken before I put it on the smoker. So I'll set you guys down here and let you take a gander at how we get this done. All right, what I like to do is I start off by just drying my chicken off and I think this thing, chicken is pretty thawed out. So just kind of dry it off a little with your little rag here, flip her over. And the whole idea is to get the backbone out of the chicken and I usually I take the backbone and the neck out so uh, get you a good pair of uh, scissors or kitchen shears and just cut right up this backbone right here I've still got just a touch of ice in here maybe but she's okay so cut your skin Right up that backbone all the way up to the neck. And then just go right up the other side. See the old skin. scissors don't want to handle that skin too good, so let's cut that skin out of the way. And this is not a good pair of shears or scissors by no means, but uh, some good kitchen scissors or shears is all you need. You cut right up through there. Cut that old neck out. Everything comes right out. There's your backbone and your neck. And then what we do with that is we'll season that too. Throw it on the grill if you like eating the neck. All right, so I still got a little ice in here. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to rinse this ice out and be right back. All right, I rinsed that little bit of ice out of there. You can see there's good and clean inside. few more little parts I want to cut off right here. It's 
a little of this extra skin that's dangling here. Get some of this other stuff out of here that you might not want in it. Bam. We're good to go. All right, now as far as spatchcocking this thing, all you gotta do is just spread it out right there a little bit. And you can, there's a breastbone right here. If you want to, you can split it a little bit. Just pinch it with your scissors there. Or, you can take your little knife. Let's see here. Get my old case knife out. Split that bone right there, that breast bone, and she is laid open now. All right, that's all you got to do. Uh, this is basically that's there's your spatchcocked chicken. So then, what I want to do is I want to take and loosen this skin up on this breast right here. Let me get this skin loosened up. Then it loosens up pretty easy. Just poke your fingers down there and loosen her up. All right, you can take it, loosen it up all the way down the legs and the thighs. And once you get that skin loosened up, you want to take your butter. Slide your butter, just a chunk right in there on top of that leg. Put you another chunk down in there on top of that thigh right there. Put you another little chunk right here on your breast. I usually put about a chunk and a half on the, on the breast. It takes me about a half a stick of butter to do this. And I'll come in here and I'll put me another one on that leg. And throw me another one on this thigh right here. And get it down, whoop, get her down in there. Good. And we'll throw another one on this breast right here. Now you can do this however you want to, but uh, Sometimes I'll stick the butter in and just shake my season all over it, but uh, I'll poke some season up under this skin right here. And then I'll season both sides of it. Actually, I probably should have put the butter in last. Yeah. Anyway, it's okay. As long as you get the butter in there, you get the point. All right, so let's, uh, let's slap some pepper all over this bad boy. some pepper on it and plenty of pepper I'll tell you what I'm going to flip this sucker over for right now put us all kind of pepper down inside of here of course we're not going to eat this side but I always season both sides a little garlic powder a little Himalayan salt I like to throw the salt to it. Throw the cabiners. Greek seasoning on here. And the kicking chicken. You gotta have that. Alright. So now that we got that done, flip her back over here. Do the same thing to this side. We've got our pepper. Pull your wings out, get your garlic powder all over everything really good. I like a lot of garlic powder on there. Get your salt over everything really, really good. I like this Cavender's Greek seasoning on lots of uh, different things. I don't use it by itself, but I add it to uh, my rubs and stuff but this uh this kicking chicken oh my goodness it's 
stuff is awesome. Let's put plenty of it on here because it. And then you just lift this skin up right here. Put you some inside there. Put your little garlic down inside there on that breast. And a little salt down in there too. And just rub that in side there a little bit. Pull your skin back down over it and get your butter situated where you want it. All right. <clears throat> now, we got her all seasoned up. We'll get ready to clean this grill off and slap it on the grill. All right, now that we've got our chicken ready, it's time just to lay it here on the smoker. Well, this is a pellet grill and it smokes, so hey, you can see it does, it does everything. But you don't have to have a pellet grill a pit boss, a Traeger, or a pit whatever, you know, big high name grill. Just get you a smoker. I've seen people make smokers out of file cabinets. I mean, anything, you can put some charcoal in and, or some wood chips and get her smoking and keep it at a good temperature. One thing is I like to smoke mine for probably about seven hours. I like to, I like to get a good internal temperature holding around 170 to 175. You can do it to 165 but it just don't uh, don't fall apart like it does at 175. And when you leave the skin on these chickens, it keeps the, the juices and the moisture in there really well. It'll look a little dried out on the outside, but let me tell you, it is not. When you dig into that thing, you'll see. I'll show you here in a little while. But uh, anyway, we're gonna set this bad boy on here and let her smoke. So let's get her on the grill. Well, I told you I was going to put that neck and that backbone on there. Hey, that'll be a midday snack right there. Anyhow, we got the chicken on the grill or the smoker, smoker grill, whatever you prefer, but just a low temperature. This will set around, it says around 185. I try to keep it around 185, 200 until the internal temperature of the chicken gets around 175, which is the way we like it. Uh, this particular grill comes with a probe. And what I like to do is poke this probe down deep into this breast right here. And we'll slide her back just a hair. And when I close her up, we'll know because it'll let me know down here on the grill what the internal temperature of that breast is. And when that breast is good and done, then we'll pull it off. So, uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up for right now. I'll get back with you guys in about seven hours. Hang with us. All right, guys. It has been nine hours. This chicken is done. I am going to slap a little bit of barbecue sauce on here and let this thing set. The sun. Take a look at that right there. That is it. We got some potatoes up here, some squash in here. Let's take a look inside here and see what she's looking like. Oh yeah, she is steaming. Good. That stuff is ready. So what I'm gonna do now, they got me some good old barbecue sauce. We're gonna slap some barbecue sauce all over this thing, let her sit here for a little while. Wait on everybody to get home and uh, I'll bust this thing open and let you see what she looks like. Let's get some barbecue sauce on here. What you think? All right, and that's what I like to do. I like to slap that barbecue sauce all over it. That'll help soften that skin up just a little bit. I'll let her sit here just a little bit longer because that skin kind of gets dry on there. But up under there where we put all that butter, it's locked all that juice in there. You just wait and see if I bust that breast open. That sucker is going to be juicy as can be. So we're going to close her back up here for a little while. I'm going to pull this temperature gauge out. I know when I pull that out, that juice wants to run out of there. But we're going to Pull her off there here just as soon as everybody gets home and show you what she looks like. All right, we got this thing off the smoker and on the stove, ready to cut into it and take a look and see what we got. Got the family over there. They are waiting on this chicken, so I got to make this quick. Hi. 
Woody's gonna come on. Woody's gonna come on. You wanna? Let's quit. All right, we're gonna cut in right here to this breast. Look, Woody, come here. And we're gonna get us a little slab out of there. And there's Woody. He is ready to eat some chicken, ain't you, Woody? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my goodness, look at there. Oh look at my there. goodness. Look at that. Looks amazing. Look at that. All right, Mama. You want to be my tester and let me know whether it's dried out or not? Sure. All right. Mama's going to try this out. It's been on the smoker for nine hours. So, how is it, Mama? It's good. Is it, it dried out? It is not dried out. Well, there you go. Nine hours on the smoker. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Give Woody a little piece. It might be hot. It's try good. it, Woody. What do you think? <laughs> No. Was it good? Is it good? Mm hmm Is it? Is it better than KFC? Did you try some? No. All right, I'm gonna try a bite. Oh man. It's very good. It's a smoky flavor. That is good. Isn't it? Mm. I tell you what, that's what I was showing you. Leave that skin on there. Stuff you some butter in there. It'll it'll look like it's dry as a powder house. You know what? And then, but. uh Anyhow, here. <laughs> now they'll be ragging me. But uh, it turned out delicious. Put a little barbecue sauce on there right at the end. Soften that skin back up. Just perfect. And that's how we do it here at the farm. All right, well, I'm going to get off here because it's time to eat. Everybody's going to bring potatoes over here. and they what about trying the squash? To... You going to show me squash? Oh, yeah, I've got, we've got oh, squash look on here. here. Look oh, look here. Oh, yeah, that's steamed squash. Oh, steamed squash and onion. Put that right on the yeah, grill and like cook it right along like. with it. So everything we're having, even the potatoes and stuff, we're, I'm getting edged, edged out here. Everybody trying to get in there and eat. <laughs> so anyway, that's how we... Spatchcock a chicken and smoke it on the grill. We smoke it on the pit boss. Like I said, you can smoke it on anything you want to, but it's been on there for nine hours around 185 to 200 degrees fluctuating in there. And it is, it's good. It's good. All right, I'm out of here. If you like the content, don't forget, give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Ding a notification bell, let you know when we upload. And as always, let's get outside.